Hello, it's Doris Sander with Coco Daisy, and I thought that this month I would share with you some ideas on how I put together my Daisy Dory each month. This is my monthly planner, this little insert from Coco Daisy, and generally I do the same thing from month to month, the same categories and format, but I've noticed that I haven't been using all my pages very well these last two months, so I think it's time for just a little bit of tweaking of my system. I think that's probably a good thing periodically to update how you do things. So in in thinking about that, of course I brainstormed a little list on my cute Simon notepad for February, but I just made a list of the things that I usually put in my planner and then some other categories that I might like to work on because um, mainly what I noticed is my brain dump pages are not being utilized well and I'll show you those when I get to them but anyway let's just jump in and get started because I have a tendency to ramble at the beginning and then panic about the time toward the end so let's jump in I've already gone through and, and made myself some little kitty page flag notes of where I wanted some of my categories and put some little bits in, things I wanted to use. So I've been thinking about this for a few days. Um, I like to use my dashboards, the personal size ones, a lot in my Daisy Dory. I mean, because that's what they're for. So I usually pick one for the cover and I know that it makes sense to use February for the February cover and that's cute, but I just really liked the way this one looked against the craft. I just thought it looked really nice. So this is the one that I'm going with. Stick that on there. And I like to add a little staple for whatever reason. Just like that. I didn't like the way that was lifting up over there. So that's the cover. And then I also found this in my day in the life kit for February and I just thought it was so cute it says be somebody that makes everybody feel like a somebody it's a nice sentiment it's a good reminder for how I would like to conduct my life from day to day so I thought that would be nice to add in here this is a little mantra for February. And of course, who better to represent that sentiment than Simon? This is from the planner kit and I just adore that they're including these little die cuts each month. And actually I was thinking that I wanted to add some washi tape in here. And this, I believe, was from last month but I can't remember at the moment I just got it because they didn't have it in stock when I got my kit so they sent it later because I'm on their team so sometimes they send us stuff early you know and sometimes a few things might not be in so it's very kind of them to send it later it will with my next kit Oh, yeah. That's cute. Cute little Simon. Um, this is my calendar page, and I'm going to... I usually doodle out my important spots in there, and I'm going to do that later um, in another video, maybe. But I always... I like the... These are the exclusive stickers. That come with the kit and there's always a cute um, 
decorative motif one in the corner and I tend to like to put it on the calendar page. Just something a little extra cute. So yeah. More Simon. This is a Simon themed month in case you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> so this, this page is always my gratitude page. And I haven't, I'm not going to do this one on video because I just feel like it'll take too long. But I'll show you. It's always the same. This one's almost done. So I just put something at the top and a quote at the bottom, which another reason that I'm not going to um, do it all today is because I haven't looked up my quote yet. You know, I don't get everything done before the month starts. And that's okay. This side is going to be my goals. And, you know, I don't necessarily need all that lovey-dovey stuff. So, I thought I would block out the I choose you and just I choose, you know, my goals. Ha ha. What did I like? I like something on here. Oh, to do. That would be cute. I choose to do these things. And you know, I don't know why, but I really, really like staples. I'd probably like them more if I got one of those Tim Holtz tiny attachers, but thus far I've been too much of a cheapskate, <laughs> shamefully. That's cute. And I want to washi tape it down to make a tip in. So when I do that, I always check the other side to see if there's anything I need to be careful about. So I think I'll be okay to put a, a washi tape tip in on this edge. Um, and I think I'm just going to use this black throughout to kind of keep it consistent. But I am going to try to start my tip in from this side of the book so that I don't cover up the words there. So, or Simon. So I'll start it here. And then add it over here. And I kind of wanted, I want a little bit of the heart to show, but I don't want this to show because that looks kind of not as put together to me. So there's my placement. And I think I'm going to add some washi. To the inside as well just to make it look a little so more pulled together there's a dirty spot Oof. you go and I thought it would be cute to put the little bazinga on the heart that's cute. And I did remember that I wanted to use a sticker for my gratitude. Um, because, it, you know, it doesn't always have to say gratitude or thankful. I mean, because it's my book. So I know what <laughs> I do. If that makes sense. So I thought the sweetest moments would be good for my little happy thoughts this moment, the things I'm thankful for. So there's that mostly done. My gratitude page started and my goal page started. And now this is my brain dump page, and this is the area that I've been having a problem with because 
I used to divide my page into five categories. It would be school, home, um, like paper craft, crafting, um, others. I don't even remember the categories. But I had four or five categories that I would try to brain dump each week. But I was finding that I would brain dump, at, well, here lately. At first, I did it really well. But here the last month or two, I would brain dump the first week of the month and then do nothing for the rest of, you know. So I'd waste all these pages. And some months, I'd have journaling to put on them or ephemera. But now I'm doing more and more of that and other, other inserts. So... I'm just not using these pages well. Um, so I decided that I would try this month to um, use each page for a brain dump page for a different category. So for example, this page is going to be my school brain dump. It's my, my job. So this I'll use the whole month for school because the quote says, um, want to borrow my calculator. So that's pretty appropriate for school, I thought. So these little stickers are from last month and they match really well because I just love that it's not just pink and red. It's got the yellow mixed in with a tiny bit of gray. I also like aqua a lot in Valentine's color schemes. But anyway, so school. And this one is home. You know, it's hard to get these little stickers straight when you're filming and trying to hurry and thinking about other things. So I like that. That looks good. This one I think I'll bump up later, you know, to be the same as this one. But I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, so school and home and then... I have a list of other ideas like um, my YouTube videos and my blog and things like that. You know, my wish list and things I need to buy. But I'm just not sure the order yet. So I'm going to, you know, sometimes it's more, my thinking is more organic. So I find that once I actually start to use the book, then it makes more sense as to where I put things. So I'll just pull this out. And leave it in here so I can think about it in the next few days and get that organized but um, two other ones that I knew I wanted to do were monthly challenges so I printed off the fat mom slims photo a day challenge and this plan with me challenge from this is the uh, bullet journal girls. Um, Boho Berry is the one that I follow the most and I pulled this off of her website. But it's also, I'm trying to read it, Pretty Prints and Paper and Tiny Ray of Sunshine. Those are the other two women that run the this challenge each month. So, and this is, um, I do it on Instagram. Well, I mean, I haven't done it yet, but... <laughs> I follow them on Instagram and also I watch Boho Berry on YouTube. So I'll link those. And then Photo A Day is um, an Instagram and she has a great blog as well. Ooh, I hate it when the washi does that. And on camera, it's even worse. Ugh. So annoying. And I'm just making these um, be little tip ins as well. Uh, 
Uh, so then, you know, I can still use the page for whatever. So I have that. This is my, I always, always have a books page and a mail page each month. And, excuse me. This is one of the die cut, the exclusive die cuts from the kit. And I think this is a, the die cut from, I may have ordered it as an add-on actually this month. So I thought that was a cute combination and this, this is a stamp set from last month and actually it's still available. And instead of stamping it onto something, I, I mean, I stamped it onto something obviously, but instead of stamping it directly on my label, I stamped it on car sock because I'm a horrible stamper. and. It's a good thing because I stamped it like three times because I didn't like the color combos that I did the first two times. But this is the stamp set and it's still available in the January Day in the Life kit and I just think it's a great little set. I'm planning to use it in my weekly spreads this month because it has the day of the week and it's a pretty script that's nice for um, February and some cute little foliage motifs and a little heart even so I think I'll use that several times and I don't really like um, too much dimension in my Midori inserts but I just thought these glasses would be cuter with a little bit of pop to them so I'm using I think this is scotch brand some old um, puffy tape and it's I'm just using it because it's a lot thinner than not a lot I mean it is it's like half the width of a pop dot so it won't pop it up as much as a pop dot would so I'm gonna add that And this is my books page, and I could totally write books on here, but again, this is my insert, and I know what I'm doing. And here go the staple again. So I don't really need to do that. I'm just going to, the little glasses I think will make a nice enough motif, and I might write it over there eventually. Again, I don't. I don't want to do everything right now until I have time to think and let it settle, start planning, because once you start planning, then you have a better idea of how you want things to operate. And again, I'm making a tip in, and this one is okay on the other side. So I'll go ahead and add that one. And this is my mail, and I really, I chose this for my mail page because I liked, I liked the, um, the column down the middle because I typically, for my mail, I'll keep an in and out column anyway where this one will be incoming mail, things I'm expecting, and the other side. Add a cutie. The other side will be outgoing mail, which one of my goals, one of my goals this year is to send more mail. So hopefully this will Oopsie. Be a good reminder of that. And I don't know if this is the best lighting today. It's really bright and sunny outside, but it's in the morning, so I guess this 
side of the house doesn't get light quite yet. Oh well, I wanted to get this done. So yeah, in and out from mail. I think that'll work. I might put USPS there later. I don't know. What do you think? I think it needs yellow there. I could put mail, um, but <laughs> I used all my eyes last month in my weekly pages because I ran out of the number one. So I have no eyes in this set with which to spell mail. So USPS would stand for the US Postal Service, which is what I used to send out my mail because we have a cute little tiny one that looks horrible and I will straighten it up later because I won't be able to stand it. I mean, if you like wonky, I'm not judging that at all, <laughs> but I don't like it that wonky personally. So anyway. Um, and then this page is quotes, 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 quotes. This quote says, what day is it? It's today, squeaked Piglet. My favorite day, said Pooh. Very cute. You know, um, I should, I should mention on the Coco Daisy forum that I use quotes every month in my planner. Oh man, I just ripped the U. And then maybe, you know, they would make a, a sticker that said quotes. You know, if maybe you all could suggest it too. And if enough of us suggest it. Do you guys like quotes in your planner? I don't know, I just, um, I realized I would see quotes on Facebook and Instagram and I think, oh, that's a great quote, but I wouldn't write it down anywhere. So, you know, I would see it for a few seconds and say, oh, that's a great quote. And that would be the end of it. But I started writing them down in my monthly planner and now I can enjoy them more and now this one I don't I don't want to put the washi on the edge I think that'll just just detract so I'm gonna put it on the bottom here and I just I thought I'd be more apt to use this currently card if I put it in here and with the intent to fill it out because I don't really do the currently thing like some people do. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I put this the wrong way. I knew something was up. Yeah. I wanted, I thought that looked really good together. I wanted this side to show and then to do the currently. Oh, try again. Yes. I saw that because I saw it peeking through the bottom there. <laughs> that looks better. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So quotes. Um, this page is for church notes, and I can't really decide how I want it headed yet, so I'm going to leave it. This page is for um, the planner team, and just to brainstorm ideas for things that we want to do this month. So I pulled this off of my paper bag. I use the... Christine's done such a beautiful job of um, branding the kits with all these lovely um, packaging stickers. There's a lot of different ones, different designs, and 
I mean, I don't hoard them or anything because we get them every month on the bags, but I do use them a lot. I'll pull them off the bags or, or glassine envelopes or whatever and use them. Because, I mean, I know it says Coco Daisy and you might not want that in your layout or whatever, but they make great layering stickers to get some color in the background. So, something to think about. Um, this page, I I like to write down things that my son says because he says really funny things. So, I call those G-isms. He's 12. And then on this side, um, and it has all these cute little um, lovey-dovey names. So I thought, like, I actually called my baby Honey Bunny when he was little sometimes. And I have other little nicknames just between the two of us. So I thought it would be cute to write down some notes of all his little nicknames on this page. And then fill out this. This is another day in the life card. Ten things I love about you. So I thought I would... Um, take the time to fill that out and again I don't want to put my tip in here because I don't want to cover up the hearts at all so I'm going to put it at the bottom I think so there's that and I might go in and um, put some tabs on the top here, but I'm running really long, like super long, so maybe later. This is my week at a glance, and I'll do those later. You've seen those before. And this page, I'm thinking about keeping some Valentine ephemera on, but I'm not sure yet, so I'll just leave the page flag for now until I make that decision. And here, I like to keep a few notepad papers in my book because they just come in handy and, but I don't like the bulk of the whole pad so I usually just peel off five of them and I put the adhesive on the top of the page and just stick it down and it totally works except for this one ripped for some reason but anyway that's that so I can use those for grocery lists and things and then the last thing is I like to add a few tabs to the pages so one tab always goes on my brain dump section and I didn't really think this through very well hmm I'm gonna have to analyze this situation guys that tab is gonna go there or there yeah I gotta think about that one and then I always put a tab on my week at a glance pages obviously because I need to get to those quickly so I will put this here I don't like it to stick out too far because then it sticks out past my cover. And I always put a tab on the g so I can find those fast, but um, <laughs> it's on there already because of the week at a glance. So I thought I would put my third tab on the quotes page. Because I like to have three tabs. I just think it looks cute. Or three. So there we go.
And that's all I have time to get on here because, wow, 30 minutes. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.